Hi everyone, it's Missy, and welcome back to part two of Dolly Cowgirl Partner Red Heart Yarns Crochet Pattern. Today we are making boots, and as you can see, I already made one, so you can see what we're doing. And I just need to make another one. The pattern is the exact same for both of them. And to make the boot, you want to have two colors of worsted weight yarn. I'm using a dark gray and an off-white. And then I'm using an eye crochet hook. And you also will need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. If you need to, you can reference the written instructions, and I have them linked in the description below. You might want to check the gauge on there in case you need to change the hook size um, so that way the boot will fit the doll correctly. To get started, we're going to take this yarn, the gray yarn, and we're going to make a slip knot. And then we are going to chain seven stitches. So to make a chain, you just yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Once you have your seven chains completed, you're going to single crochet three times in the second chain from hook. So to single crochet, I'm just going to insert my hook through the second chain, and then yarn over, pull through a loop, so there's two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops, and that's a single crochet stitch. So that's one. We need to make two more. And there are my three stitches. Then you want to single crochet once in the next four chain stitches. So I'm just going to go right into the next chain, make a single crochet stitch, and repeat that three more times. Like so. So you should have one chain stitch left that's unworked. We are going to single crochet three times in that last stitch. As you can see, while I'm doing my single crochet stitches, I kind of rotated my work. So the chain stitches, the unworked side, is facing up. The reason why I did that is because we're going to crochet on that unworked edge. I'm also going to be weaving in my tail as I go, so you can see that I'm putting the tail of my yarn behind my work. And this might be a little tricky for beginners, but all I'm going to do is where I put my hook through to make the single crochet on the bottom, I'm going to put my hook right through that stitch to make another single crochet on top, so it would be a mirror image of itself. And I'm going to do that three more times, so there's a total of four single crochets along that side. And sometimes you might have to feel where your hook will poke through, because you might not necessarily see it if your stitches are tight like mine. But once you got that, you just want to join in the top of the first single crochet that you made and this will complete round one. And you'll have 20 single crochet stitches all the way around. In round one, the right side is facing, and when we work in rounds, the right side should always be facing you, and we're never going to turn our work. We're always going to work in around and not, you know, turn your work like this, like when we're doing rows. We're also creating the bottom of the boot right now which is this part right here. So we're going to do another round to increase the size of the sole so it fits um, the 18 inch doll's foot. To do that we are going to chain one and we're going to complete two single crochets in each of the first three stitches. So right where this join happened I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet and then insert my hook right back into that stitch and single crochet. So that's two single crochets in the first stitch. I'm going to do that again in the next stitch and single crochet twice in the next stitch. 
going along the side of the foot, I'm just going to single crochet once in the next four stitches. Once I get to the other side of the sole, I'm going to single crochet twice in the next three stitches. And as you can see, I'm rotating my work as I go. And then to finish it up, I'm going to single crochet once in the last four stitches. And just as we did in round one, I'm going to join on the top with a slip stitch for round two. So that is your completed sole of your boot. And for round two you should have 20 single crochet stitches. I believe I said 20 for round one. You want 14 single crochets in round one and 20 single crochets in round two. To do round three we're going to start working up the side of the boot. To do that we're just going to single crochet in the back loops only so the stitches will be fold up easier. We're also no longer going to increase our rounds. We just want them to be, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around so that way we create that bowl shape like we want to create the boot. So to do that I'm first going to chain one and then I'm going to single crochet like I said in the back loop only of each stitch around. So where the stitch is for the join, there's usually two, hopefully you can see it, there's usually two loops that we're going through when we single crochet. I just want to go through this one, the one that's furthest away from me. So if I do that, without splitting my yarn, there we go, it'll look like that and then we just single crochet like we do normally and being we're only doing that once in each stitch we'll have a total of 20 stitches for round three. I'm going to show you quick here so you know when you're doing it right when you have like this little ridge that shows up you can probably see it better on this one so you can see that there's this little ridge that kind of goes around the very edge of the boot. That's what you want. When you have completed your last stitch, we're going to join in the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And that completes round three. So it's kind of curling up and that's what we want. We want the stitches to curl up just like that. So we're moving on to round four. And this is where we're going to work in both loops again. We're not going to worry about the back loop, front loop of the stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to single, single crochet in the first 10 stitches. So when you have finished your 10 single crochet stitches, you should be close to the front of the boot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to decrease our stitches to make the toe part, or this part right here. So to do that, we're going to single crochet two together. And what you want to do is insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then insert your hook into this next stitch after that and pull up a loop. So there's three loops on your hook. And then you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And now you've just single crocheted two stitches together. We're going to repeat that two more times. So insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch after that and pull up a loop. So there's three loops on your hook. 
yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I'm just going to do that one last time. So what you have when you look at it is it's starting to kind of fold over on itself to create that toe. To finish round four, you want to single crochet in the last four stitches. And as always, once you finish your last stitch, you want to join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. So for round four, because we decreased, we're going to have a total of 17 stitches. Round five is going to be a lot like round four. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the first nine stitches this time. So I ended right before my first single crochet two together stitch down here. And that's what we're going to do, is we're going to single crochet two together three times. And to finish round five, I'm just going to single crochet in the last two stitches. And join in my first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch. So for round five, I'll have a total of 14 stitches. And now you can see, it. you can really wear, have the doll wear this as a shoe as is. Um, but we want to make it into a boot, so now we're going to start focusing a little bit more on getting it shaped just so, tapered just so, so we can start making the cylindrical part of the boot. So for round six, I want to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in the first ten stitches. And then to do a little bit more shaping, I'm just going to single crochet two together just the one time. Just like so. And then I want to single crochet in the last two stitches. And then join in the first stitch of round six. So I have a total of 13 stitches. Round 7 through 11 are the same pattern. All you do is you chain one and you single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have a total of 13 stitches each for round 7 through 11. And you always want to join each round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep repeating that pattern and when I finished round 11 I'll show you how to change the yarn so that way you can get this white band up on top. Okay so I finished round 11 and now we're ready to do this white band. To do the color change all I'm going to do is leave a tail to weave in my end. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm just basically going to fasten off the gray yarn. To fasten off you just yarn over and pull the yarn through and then pull tight. Okay? To do the white band, I'm going to take this white yarn, I'm going to make a slip knot, and then I'm going to join it with a slip stitch to 
the last crochet I made. So I just inserted my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops like so. And then I'm going to weave in my tails as I go. But round 12 is the same as round 11. You just chain one and then single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have a total of 13 single crochets for round 12. And then for round 13, you're also going to, well I should say for round 12 you'll join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet just like we did for all of our previous rounds. And then after that you're going to do round 13 which is chain one, single crochet in each stitch around, you join and then you fasten off. And I already showed you how I fastened off the gray, you're just going to fasten off the white the same way and then weave in your ends and you're done. So if you have any questions you can leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for part three, which is to make the cowgirl shirt. Bye, everyone.